The number one generator of Taiwan's second nuclear power plant will be decommissioned ahead of schedule Thursday evening. Tai Power says it's had to reduce the unit's power generation since February because the storage facility for its spent fuel rods is nearly full. Once the generator is brought offline, there will be a shortfall of 985,000 kilowatts in the nation's installed capacity. Thai Power says it will maintain a stable power supply throughout the summer with support from a private electricity company and a new capacity from solar power. This breakfast shop has been in business for nearly 30 years and it continues to stay open despite the pandemic. Although revenue has dropped by half, its business hours still exceed 15 hours a day. Its fridge and freezer run 24-7, and its electric fans and lights are kept on all day. The staff dormitory upstairs is air-conditioned, and altogether, the power bill comes out to at least 15,000 NT a month. Haven't we had all those power outages this year? Every time the power goes out, the food in the fridge goes bad. So of course I am worried. We wouldn't be able to operate. Responding to news of the early decommissioning, this breakfast shop owner is worried that outages will result and ruin her bottom line. But the decommissioning seems an inevitable fate. Because the generator's spent fuel storage is nearly full, Thai Power has stopped inserting new fuel rods, reducing generation to less than 80 percent of installed capacity. The Atomic Energy Council has announced the unit will be shut down on the evening of July 1st. Once that happens, the national grid will lose 985,000 kilowatts. To make up the shortfall, Thai Power has contracted Jiahui Power Corporation to supply 510,000 kilowatts from a gas-fired unit. Thai Power also plans to make use of its solar power capacity and other forms of green energy. In addition, four Thai Power units currently under repair will be back online by the end of July, steadying the power supply over the summer. Since this February, the power supplied by the second plant's number one generator has declined by about 800,000 kilowatts. Jiahui Power Corporation's IPP2 unit has been tested and brought online. This unit has an output of 510,000 kilowatts. In addition, we are continuously building solar power capacity, which will be able to provide another 510,000 kilowatts. Since 2016, solar power has failed to hit targets every single year. Renewables have fallen far behind the original plan, so there is still the chance of a blackout. Energy specialist Liang Qiyuan warned of trouble, saying Thai Power has raised its July-August peak use forecast to a whopping 39 million kilowatts. He said that renewables don't supply a stable source of power. With the early decommissioning of a stable energy source, one mishap on the grid could send the nation into a power crisis, he said.